Welcome to Introduction to Personal Computers, brought to you by ComputerLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. This course is for the absolute beginner who has little to no experience with personal computers. That's right, I don't assume you know anything about computers. I know in today's day and age, it's rare to find someone who's never used a computer before, but I know you're out there. I know you need help and have lots of questions about what many other people consider to be common knowledge. But you're not alone. This course is for you. For the rest of you, please feel free to share this course with anyone you think might need it. You know who I'm talking about. The coworker who's constantly asking you PC questions. The neighbor next door who always needs help with his computer. Or even your mom and dad who can't figure out how to use the keyboard and mouse properly. Those are the people this course is for. So even though you might not need it, keep it in mind for someone else who does. There are no prerequisites for today's class. If you've never used a computer before, you'll be absolutely fine. Today's class is going to focus on the basics of computer technology. We'll learn some helpful definitions. We'll discuss computer hardware in detail, including system components, peripherals, data storage, and more. We'll learn all about how to use the keyboard and mouse and what a lot of those crazy keys on the keyboard are. And finally, we'll talk about ergonomics, things to watch out for, and tips for beginners. My next class, which is Microsoft Windows Beginner Level 1, will cover more of the software aspect of computers. Throughout my Windows series, we'll learn more about basic software applications using the internet, file management, security, privacy, all that kind of stuff. But today's class is for the computer beginners who need the absolute basics. So who am I? Why should you learn from me? And why should you listen to my advice? Let me share my background real quick. I began using computers at the age of eight in 1980, so you can do the math. I have a long history with technology. I attended university right after high school for computer science, but I dropped out. I got bored. I started my first business in 1992, providing PC sales, service, networking, and custom software development. My customers were constantly asking where they could go to learn how to use the computers I just sold them, so I decided to open my own in-person computer training center in 1997. I ran the training center for a few years before transitioning to online training. With more and more people getting high-speed internet, I could record videos and reach a much broader audience. I've been dedicated to online training since 2002. In 2010, I was approached by a book agent who found my Excel lessons on YouTube, leading to the publication of The Complete Idiot's Guide to Excel 2010. I received the Microsoft MVP Award for Microsoft Access, which is my personal specialty, in 2013, 14, and again in 2023. So that's it. That's a brief overview of my professional background. As you can see, I've got over 30 years of experience as a computer professional and I've been teaching software applications for most of that time. So if you need to learn how to use a computer, I'm your guy. Oh, plus, I'm all about having fun. I do my best to keep my videos light and entertaining. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Now, before we get started with lesson one, if you have any questions regarding the material covered in today's class, and you're watching this course on my website, just scroll down to the bottom of the page that you're on and post your questions there. I've got a fantastic group of volunteer moderators who love answering questions from students just like you. And also take a minute to read through any other questions that have been posted as your question may have already been answered. Also make sure you click on that red subscribe button to get notified of any other questions or comments posted for this class. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you can still post your questions and comments. Just scroll down to the comments section. I don't check YouTube as often as I check the comments on my own site, but I do try my best to read and respond to them as often as I can. Now let's take a closer look at exactly what's covered in today's class. In lesson one, we're going to learn about computer hardware. First, we're going to discuss why you should learn this stuff. Why should you learn about computer hardware? You're just going to turn the computer on. It works, right? Why do you have to learn about what's inside it? We'll talk about that first. We'll go over some basic definitions. We'll talk about PC versus Mac, and then we'll talk about the different system components that are inside your computer. In lesson two, we are continuing to learn about computer hardware. We're going to talk about data storage, peripherals, and power protection. 
In lesson three, we're going to talk about using the keyboard. We'll learn about what all the different keys on the keyboard are and those little lights, and we'll learn how to use most of them. In lesson four, we're going to talk about using the mouse. Lesson five is something I call Rick's tips. Now, I was going to call it Richard's tips because I, I do go by Richard professionally, even though my friends and family call me Rick. You can call me Rick if you want. Um, but Rick's tips sounded better than Richard's tips. So we're going to go with Rick's tips. Okay. We're going to talk about ergonomics, computer caveats, things you got to watch out for, and tips for noobs. Yes, new computer users are called noobs. It's a term of endearment. We don't mean any insult by it. And that's what we're going to talk about in lesson five.